Listen up. If you are always sneezing, having headaches, maybe you always have a stuffy nose or a chronic cough, I'm about to reveal to you a possible reason that you or even your doctor may not have thought about. And after this short video, you are going to know exactly what to ask your doctor and how to determine if it's actually your home being the culprit that is making you sick. In a few minutes, I'm going to throw a stat out to you that may totally blow your mind. But before we get started, go ahead and hit the subscribe button on the bottom right and then give this video a thumbs up and indicate to me that you would like to see more videos just like this one. So I have a question for you. What has been on earth for millions or even billions of years and is usually present in almost every indoor environment? We are talking about mold. Now don't freak out because not all mold is bad. As a matter of fact, mold is sometimes used as medicine. Have you ever heard of penicillin? Of course you have. Well, it's derived from the mold spore penicillium. But here's where mold can be a problem. When you are allergic to it. Now listen to this stat. According to the American College of Occupational and Environmental Medicine, one out of every 10 people are allergic to mold. So that means there's a 10% chance that you are allergic to mold. Now the problem is most people that are allergic don't know it and this type of allergy is very much overlooked by primary doctors. Now I will say this, that stat can be very deceiving and here's the reason why. Well, there are over 365,000 species of mold, so just because you may be allergic to one particular species, it doesn't mean that you're allergic to all mold. Thankfully, there are only a handful of species of mold that are common in your home. So no, you don't have to be tested for all 365,000 species. Then also, there are certain types of mold present that even if you're allergic to, it can still possibly cause adverse health effects. So how do you know which ones you're allergic to and which types of mold that can harm you regardless if you're allergic to it or not? Well, it, when it comes to the really bad types of mold that can harm anyone, it comes down to one thing. Does it produce mycotoxins? Now, mycotoxins are toxic compounds that are naturally produced by certain types of molds. You always hear about the black toxic mold, but the truth is, Black mold is just a media term for one particular mold spore called Stachybotrys. Now there are a handful of mold species that have strands that can produce mycotoxins. And in order to produce mycotoxins, you need a pretty substantial leak in your home that was not dried in a proper or timely fashion. There are many different tests available for mycotoxins that you can take and if they're in your system, it can be determined by urine or blood. Now some of these tests that you can buy over the internet are very expensive and the science behind it is considered controversial by some. You can also have your home tested by a mold inspector to determine if there are elevated mold spores in your air. There are also at home mold tests you can do such as the ERMI test or air samples using what I recommend called My Mold Detective. You'll get a lab report back which will indicate the really bad mold spores that are present in your home. So now that you know a little bit about mycotoxins, what if you are allergic to just mold in general? How can that be determined? Now realistically, the best way to test if you are allergic to mold is get tested by a doctor. There are certain types of doctors called allergists and they can test for it. Most ear, nose, and throat doctors can also test if you are allergic to mold. So don't just ask your primary doctor, you want to see a specialist that can give you tests. Most of the symptoms that may arise if you are allergic to mold can be sinus or upper respiratory issues. So if you keep on getting sick and you're unsure of the reason why, do not forget about mold. This video has been brought to you by lookmold.com. Also, again, please like this video and if you have any questions, leave it in the comment box below.